Which newsmaker had the greatest impact this year? Who made the biggest headlines? Here's a look back at the top movers and shakers of 2010. Julian Assange, founder of WikiLeaks, sparked a global debate about the role of journalism and transparency when the site released thousands of secret U.S. military and diplomatic documents to the public. The WikiLeaks saga continues, but Assange's campaign for anti-secrecy and government accountability has already become a precedent for rival whistleblower sites. The story behind Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg captured everyone's attention this year with the premiere of The Social Network. I think the intriguing thing about this film is that, that Facebook and so, or social networking as an idea is still a hypothesis. And, and I think that people are still asking the question, is it going to be something that makes us better or something that makes us worse? Zuckerberg had to address Facebook's privacy controversy, but despite the concern, Zuckerberg's brainchild has become the social hub for millions of people around the world. Apple CEO Steve Jobs made the tablet cool and the iPhone even cooler this year. The iPad shook up the marketplace for e-readers, giving customers a sleeker way to navigate content iPad is an awesome way to enjoy your music collection, movies, TV shows, podcasts, iTunes University, everything built right into the iPad. The debut of the iPhone 4 also broke company sales records and brought users FaceTime, Apple's live video chat feature. With jobs at the helm, many are looking forward to the next Apple gadget. In a polarized election year, Fox News host Glenn Beck emerged as a voice for the Tea Party movement and conservatives. America today begins to turn back to God. Tens of thousands of people attended his Restoring Honor rally in D.C., and despite his controversial remarks about the Obama administration, his ability to unite conservative viewers around his message made him a powerful persona in American media. She's no longer a public official, but Sarah Palin showed no signs of fading from the spotlight. She threw her support behind dozens of Tea Party and Republican candidates, and the Palin effect gave several candidates a boost in the midterm elections. With a national book tour and a reality show on TLC, the former Alaska governor continued to generate a buzz for a possible GOP presidential nomination in 2012. It's Indecision 2010. Daily Stewart. Show host John Stewart famously blurred the lines between comedy and politics in 2010. The funny man teamed up with Stephen Colbert to host the Rally to Restore Sanity. The event took place days before midterm elections and encouraged tens of thousands of people to participate in a reasonable political discussion. I just want you all to believe in yourselves and never give up on your dreams. A musician with a message, Lady Gaga continued to push the limits with her controversial music videos and her over-the-top outfits. Teaming up with artists like Beyonce for the hit song Telephone, her hit single Bad Romance topped Billboard's charts and has won numerous awards. It was one man's scandal, but the aftermath of Tiger Woods' illicit affairs changed the face of competitive golf. As his personal life imploded, Woods stalled his athletic career and lost millions in sponsorships, but PGA ratings and sales also suffered. Woods and his wife, Elin, filed for divorce in August, and PGA officials hope that 2011 will be the year Woods revives his career in competitive golf. Age is just a number when it comes to Justin Bieber. The 16-year-old pop singer became the youngest male artist to top the Billboard charts with his album My World 2.0. Bieber fever is sure to continue into 2011 as the singer is up for two Grammys, including Best New Artist. Chris Havlick, The Associated Press.